Okay, so I'm going to show you how to change your Works Cited so that it is uh, uses styles in Microsoft Word. Okay, so the reason why I'm going to show you that is because if we go up here and turn on the hidden characters in Word, we can see that at the end of each line you put a hard return and you put in five spaces. So if I go in to the second line, for instance, and delete some spaces, it's going to change the way that your uh, Works Cited appears. Or let's say, let me grab a couple of these. I go in here and I create a new document and paste it. But like, let's say I want 11 point font or I want a different, uh, oops. a different font entirely. You can see that it automatic because you put in automatic breaks it gives you funky line breaks here um, and you don't want that to happen so I'm going to close that out go back to this one and show you how to do it correctly now a lot of YouTube videos will tell you to uh, to simply just add a hanging indent in paragraph styles um, and the way that you would do that is to select a text right click on it go down to paragraph and change um, the special to hanging. However, that's only going to do it for one at a time, or maybe you select all and then do it. But what happens when you add more into it, uh, into the works cited later on? You have to format each of those individually. So the, most of the YouTube videos that I found are wrong. <laughs> Instead, this is what I want you to do. And you might copy and paste your whole works cited into a separate document before you do this. And you have to set up the style every time you open a new Word document. It's kind of a pain in the ass unless you add it to the template, which I'm not going to show you today. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, go up to your replace. You're going to click on this little arrow and go down to replace. Okay. And then over here, I, you want to find the... Um, uh, I don't know which one it is. Let me select this. Select this little wonky character. No, it's not letting me put it in. So I got to go in here and do where's. Uh, I think it's a manual line break. find out. That's doing some of them. It'll highlight which ones they are. But that's not the one that we want. So let's go in here instead and look for... See, we don't want the paragraph mark. That's getting the ones in between. Although I can talk about that one later and why you don't need paragraph marks between those. Um, let's see. can't seem to grab it. And if I can't grab it, then you're going to have to delete all these manually, and that's going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. place and then you want space 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 okay. and you want to replace just with a space okay and let's see 27 replacements well, that did work okay good now you can still see though these little tiny dot dots dot, dots up here you still have multiple spaces together here so then you want to go through the document, we can go back over here, and search for space, 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 replace with one space. Replace all. Okay. And then you look through, back through the document again and see, okay, is there anything left over that's wonky? You still have two spaces in some of these. So space, space, replace with just a space. There's 23 of those. Okay. 
So replace all. And then see whether you've got all your spaces fixed. And it looks like for the most part that you do. Okay, so we can stop doing that. Well, while we're in here, let's just go ahead and fix these paragraph marks. So we're gonna go back here and replace caret P. I just happen to know that that's the shortcut for paragraph mark, but if you don't know that, you can find it in the drop down list. And I wanna replace that with nothing. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so replace all. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> so, Apple Z. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to replace two paragraph marks because I've got one here and one there. Right? So I actually want to do Apple P, carrot P, carrot P, and I just want to replace it with one P. Okay, so replace all. And that will single space our document, basically. Occasionally you'll have individual pieces that aren't right and you can just fix those. Okay, so now let's close this out because we don't need it anymore. You'll notice though, the thing that I really want to get at is this, styles, All right? Everything that you click on here is listed as a normal style. And that's not the way that you should do it, especially when you're working with a long form document like your dissertation, okay? So if you want this to be how that looks, you want to select it. And see, if I clicked on one of these other things up here, see what happens? It's going to automatically reformat it for us. So if you want the bibliography for comps to be heading one, but you don't like, which is what it should be, by the way, um, but you don't want it to look like that, then you can come up here, right click on the box that says heading one, modify, and change it to whatever you want. If you don't like Calibri, change it to something else. Change it to whatever your style guide you're using. If you're using MLA, it has specifications for what these head headers and whatnot should, should be styled like. Um, if you have, for instance, the graduate handbook has specific styles, then use those. Okay, so we want bold. But you're like, that's blue and I hate that blue. So then we're gonna go in here to the color and change it to black. Okay, and it will show you what it looks like down here. I'm gonna add it to the template and we wanna automatically update, but we also want it centered. So we're gonna center it, we're gonna single space it, that's all good. And you're like, well, I also want it to have this space without having to put this automatic paragraph mark below it. So in order to fix that, I have to go into format, paragraph, and then it gives me all of these other options. Okay, so I can align it here again if I, if I wanted to. We don't want to indent it because we've got it centered. And this gives us 24 spaces before. I don't really like spaces before, but I do like spaces after. And six after is generally a, a single um, line, as you can see. Okay. Uh, and line spacing is single, that's good. So I can click OK. And you can see it's automatically changing it as we're doing it. That's why we've got the automatic update on. So I'm going to click OK. Now, Anytime you can see it's changed up here the way it looks as well. Anytime I click on something and I click on heading one now that I've changed it, it's going to format to look like heading one. Okay. That's exactly what we're going to do for the rest of this. Oh, I can get rid of this too. So that's the six spaces that's after. If you don't like the six spaces, then you can modify it, go back into format, paragraph, change that to 12 spaces click OK, it does it automatically, ta-da, okay. So the real helpful then point is when you get into these multiple lines, so you don't have to reformat each of them individually, okay. So I'm going to select one, for instance, I'm going to scroll through here, and I don't have anything that gives me an idea about references, right. There's a subtle reference, intense reference, but that's for emphasis, not for actual, like, work cited. So what I need to do is create a new style, right? I'm going to click on this little box to manage the styles. I'm going to click on New Style. 
I'm going to call it references or works cited or bibliography or whatever you want to. I'm going to format it the way that I want and I'll just leave it like this for now. Um, you want it to be double spaced, I'm assuming, if you're following MLA style. It's already in black, so we don't have to worry about that. And then in order to get, instead of using that hard break line return at the end with the five, 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 five spaces, we're going to go into format, paragraph, whoops, I actually want that to be double. And then here, under special indentation, we want hanging. Did you see how it jumped out there automatically? It's going to give you a half inch hanging indent. Okay. While we're in here, we're also going to change the spacing to be six point or 12 point, whatever you want it to be so that it looks like it's double spaced in between characters. Okay. Uh, although you don't really need that when you have the hanging indents, frankly. Okay. So I'm going to click okay. And I think this is all set. So, and you can review everything here. I'm going to click okay again. Now you're like, why didn't it apply to that? Well, that's because I haven't actually, I've created that reference, but I haven't actually applied it yet. So I have to go back and find where I put it. Here it is. And click on this. And there we go. It automatically does it. Now, all I have to do is select everything else in my list and click on references and it automatically formats everything. Ta-da! And now if I cut and paste some of this into a new document, it retains the formatting. See, the references list shows up in the new document because it's automatically applied to this. Okay. So that's how you format your works cited in Word. You use styles. Yay! And you can double check it, making sure that the um, hidden characters is on. And you can see we've got one paragraph break. It's automatic spacing. There's no, there's no hidden characters there or here. It's all done already. Ta-da!